U.S. envoy to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, resigned from her post on Tuesday. Her decision to quit was indeed a surprise. But so was her appointment. Back in 2016, when Trump announced that she'll be the next U.N. ambassador, it had caught many off guard. Haley was a strong critic of Trump. He was one of the few dissenting voices in his administration and held her ground when the times were tough. Take a look at this report. I'm Nikki Haley. You solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Nikki Haley was one of the stars of the Trump administration. Despite Trump's bold and disruptive moves, Haley managed to use her ambassadorship at the United Nations to raise her political profile. Unlike several other former members of the Trump administration, she's leaving the job unscathed and on a high. Trump's decision to appoint Haley as the UN ambassador had come as a surprise to many. She was seen as a strong critic of Trump. For the 2016 elections, she threw her support behind Trump's rivals Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. Haley even confronted candidate Trump's call to temporarily ban Muslims from entering America. Back then she had said no one who is willing to work hard, abide by our laws and love or traditions should ever feel unwelcome in this country. That statement had even led to a brief war of words between Trump and Haley on Twitter. The Twitter fight did not hamper Haley's future political prospects. Within weeks of his victory, President Trump appointed Haley as America's ambassador to the United Nations. Even after joining the Trump administration, Haley did not shy away from voicing her opinion on controversial issues, even if it was at divergence with Trump's views. Most recently, when Judge Brett Kavanaugh faced charges of sexual harassment just before his confirmation, Haley argued that accusers should be heard, even when Trump mocked Christine Blasey Ford, who had accused Kavanaugh of sexual assault. I think at the end of the day, the goal is the truth. And you do that in a way that's not um, with a lot of fanfare. You do it in a way that's with a lot of respect. While Haley's departure may have been on amicable terms, her departure will pinch the Trump administration. She stood out for her outspoken criticism of Russia at the UN. Haley even backed Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, as well as the US withdrawal from the UN Human Rights Council. You've been fantastic, you're my friend, and I just, on behalf of the country, I want to thank you for a great job. Thank you, Nikki. Bureau Report, we own. Thank you very much, everybody.